one. Okay, first I'm just gonna start off saying shout out to one of my best friends, Tyler Ward. Um, he helped put this whole setup, lighting. I even have a little mic over here. I just wanna say thanks to him. He's the only reason this is happening as quick as it is. So, Preacher's Daughters Tell All. I dreaded doing this back in the day, but now here we are. So I've gotten so many comments, new followers, DMs, all the stuff, asking the same questions I got years ago while doing Preacher's Daughters. Come to find out, Lifetime has actually been putting older episodes of Preacher's Daughters on their YouTube um, channel. I was like, you know what? I have been asked the same questions for years and it's probably time I give you guys some answers because if I was you, I would want answers too. So I'm just gonna go. We're just gonna read some questions and here we go. I wrote down some of the main ones that I get but then there's some extra little, little goodies. Put it away, Colby. <laughs> Turk02 said, how did you get casted? Um, my mom used to have a radio show. She saw someone put up an ad saying, if you um, have a daughter who is age 15 to 19 and you or your husband is a pastor, then um, send in her photo and information. She just thought, I don't know, this could be fun. Little backstory, I am not a cheerleader. I played basketball for 12 years. For some reason, my sophomore year, I was like, I'm just gonna give it a go. Decided to try out for cheerleading, didn't make it, shocker. So I was just really down in the dumps. I'm like, man, I suck. And so my mom saw this, so that's another reason um, she kind of sent it in, because she was like, oh, maybe this is fun for Colby, get her mind off of it. They'll interview her, what it's like to be a pastor's daughter. So we did three interviews. And on the third one is when we found out it was actually for a reality show. Next question, it's Ashton said, what made you guys wanna do the show? So when we found out it was a reality show, we, we said we were either doing it if our entire family was on board or we weren't doing it at all. So we kind of sat down with the whole family and we were like, hey, we are approached to do this show. They had interviewed about 250,000 families. They were looking for one more and they just, they wanted us, like they offered it to us. So we were like, okay, well we need to talk to our family because we're a pretty close, tight-knit family. So we all sit down, we talk about it, we're like, okay, we're all game for it as long as we understand why we're doing it. And I got asked why we did it a lot. And I can honestly say we wanted to show, there's such a stigma with being a Christian, right? Like you're either weird or you're too much or you're a hypocrite and all of these things. And so we wanted to show hey, this is who we are, the good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, we go through this. Yeah, my parents are divorced. Yeah, we find this out or we talk about this on the show. And um, But our base and our foundation is our faith. That's genuinely why we decided to do the show. So I had multiple people say, was your mom actually that strict? Yes, <laughs> she's gonna get so pissed for me to say that. My mom really was pretty strict. The contract that she gave um, Micah to sign on the show to date me, I had no idea that was coming, that was very real. She did it more to be funny, but she grills any guy that I bring home. There were certain things in the show that they did make her play up. Like when um, when Micah and I are standing outside and we're talking and my mom runs after us and was like, what are you guys doing? She didn't know what we were talking about or what we were doing, but the show said, hey, you should go out there. And they kind of egged her on when we were literally talking about boundaries, if you remember that scene. She is strict. They did kind of feed both of us, right? They'd have me ask this or me do this, but then like she wouldn't know about it. And so, yeah, so it kind of was that stuff, which is how reality TV works. Jesse Aranda, I hope I said your name right, said, how is your faith now compared to when you were on the show? When I was on the show, I think my faith was just very immature. I mean, I was 15, 16, 17 years old, so there's only so much you can actually know. I think back in the day, I was so gung-ho of like, yes, this is right, this is right, this is right, because I didn't have a lot of life experience, like even tattoos. Mia Lopez and then a bunch of other people said, like, do you have, did you ever get tattoos? What do your parents think? I used to think like, oh, that's just bad. I don't think that anymore. I have one, I have like four tattoos. I'm about to get my fifth. So Sinner. Yeah. <laughs> Little things like that where my faith has grown to realize that our walks with Christ shouldn't really ever be works-based because that's legalism. That's the stuff that the Bible actually preaches against. Emily Eason said, did you ever forgive your sister for um, for losing her virginity before she got married? Marielle said, were you actually that upset finding out your sister wasn't a virgin or did they make you play it up? What they did not show on that scene is we were all at dinner 
and my mom and dad actually had just gotten into a big fight. They didn't show that part, which is fine. Emotions were really high already. So when, when she said that, yes, we were shocked. It was a sad thing for her, um, mainly because she felt like she had to lie and keep it a secret for so long. It's not because I was like, how dare you lose your virginity? It really wasn't that. When you're being filmed all the time, it's like they wanna get the stuff that that is like meaty and juicy. You're kind of constantly on this emotional high because you have to share this and be honest with this. Yes, I forgave my sister. I didn't ever hold it against her. Don't worry, it's all good. Ashton Captain, goodness gracious. She said, I went to CHS in Franklin. I heard a lot of rumors that you showed up to school in limos. Never, ever, 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 ever did I show up to school in a limo. I am not that much of a douche. <laughs> I'm kind of a douche sometimes, but not that bad. <laughs> How did your high school life change as you were on the show? I hated high school. I didn't like it that much before the show, and I liked it even less after the show. People were pretty receptive and kind at the beginning, but we actually had a lot of close friends and close family friends who looked at us and said, we want nothing to do with this. And that made it really difficult for someone at 16, 17, when people who I consider my closest friends are like stiff arming me. They got it in their minds that because I was on the show, I was like, oh, well now I just, I'm elevated and all this stuff, which I never ever thought. Like I used to pray and literally tell the Lord, hey, I don't ever want to love Fame, money, any of that stuff. I never want to love that stuff more than I love you. I've forgiven them, I've let that go. You are meeting me in high school, I forgave you, but you sucked back then. Micah. <laughs> Micah, if you're seeing this, I'm so sorry you ever did that show. 